love the color i love purple <laughs> i love it i love it <laughs> this is my favorite <laughs> so 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 nice <laughs> what do you call this print Ugh, my brain i can't think about it right now sleeved top without the neck color it just looks luxurious it feels luxurious it's just really really nice welcome back to the channel my name is Pilumi if it's your first time coming across the channel you're welcome on this channel I share sewing DIY and craft tutorials so if you're into that kind of content please subscribe to the channel like this video if you find it interesting or helpful share the video as well as leave a comment I'd really love to connect and engage with you guys it's really nice to do that so please like share subscribe and all that she bag in today's video um, I'm going to be sharing my latest fabric haul. I haven't actually done a lot of, I think this is my second fabric haul video on the channel. I try not to hoard fabrics. <laughs> I only buy when I think I have projects in mind or when I really need fabrics. Um, so I don't buy fabrics a lot until I sort of like run out or I want to make something I don't have a particular fabric for it. So that's when I get fabrics. But today is kind of like different because I went on a rampage <laughs> looking for where to get good fabrics online here in South Africa. Um, so I explored different stores and I got different fabrics. If you know, if you don't know, I recently launched my first PDF pattern. It's called the Azania pattern. It's a maxi length need to dress with um, I'll just pop a picture here <laughs> with a necktie collar side sleeve and puffy cuff sleeves so my goal is to make different versions of the same dress so that's why I said one in many <laughs> dresses so I went looking online for where I can get really nice neat fabrics online because I didn't want to go into the store plus I haven't really shopped online before for fabrics so I thought I should just give that a go and I'm really happy with the results I mean the all the fabrics came on time probably the maximum was like four days um, for delivery the fabrics were affordable and for some reason all the fabrics I got were on sale or special or discount so I'm going to link the links to the stores that I got the fabrics from in the description box don't forget to check that out and I don't think maybe if they don't have the fabrics I got on their website you can always browse your website and um, buy some fabrics <laughs> and hopefully they have sales and discounts as well so this is not sponsored this is just me giving my honest opinion on online shopping for fabrics in South Africa these are the fabrics I got from different stores actually but I just put them in one bag so fabric haul i'm really excited i love all the fabrics i got and they are all neat except one i think one is that neat so let's get right into this video i've been rambling too much <laughs> so like i said i bought the neat fabrics to sew different versions of the azania dress and um this is ah uh, it's not really clear but i just printed out the different views that i want to try out I have the two top versions one without the necktie and the other one with the necktie and then I have the sleeveless maxi dress and then I have the, uh, the sleeved maxi dress with the collar um, I have made two versions so far I put them here and I'm just gonna try out other versions so while I'm reviewing the fabrics I also want to sort of like select the fabrics I think will be best for each of you and just cut snippets of the fabric and place it on the paper so we're gonna do that together as well all right so the first one I got is this um, it was called a crepe stretch crepe yes it was called stretch cape it's in color sand but well, I got this for 55 rand per meter and I got three meters and it's from a fabric store called um, the fabric studio by mint so i got this really lovely stretch crepe from them i wanted to just try out neutral colors you guys know i love ankara bright colorful prints um, but i just want to add more plain stuff to my wardrobe especially this summer it's summer <laughs> 
but um, this is really nice I love the color I think it'll look really nice on my skin tone it's in the color sand like I said and on the website they had different color waves or different color options so if it's still up you can check their website it's a really great fabric it feels really nice it has a bit of weight it's called stretch crepe but it barely has any stretch this is why I think it was important um, to put videos or the sh the sh videos on the website because you it says one thing but it doesn't feel like it doesn't have any stretch on it if i had seen a video uh i would probably would have bought this because i was expecting to have stretch it says stretch crepe i haven't felt stretch crepe in the store before it's not a fabric i'm familiar with so when it says stretch i'm like okay it has some stretch <laughs> uh so it'll be nice to have It'd be nice if I had a video of the fabric where you know they're showing you the stretch, the drape, and just like feeling the texture of the fabric. So it's, it's, it's a nice fabric. I don't regret buying it, but I had a stretch in mind because the, the pattern is made for stretch knit fabrics. Um, so I probably would have gotten it if I had a video of the fabric on the website. But like I said, I'm really not mad with the fabric. It's really pretty. I love it. <laughs> So this is number one and um, since it's a neat, since it's a woven fabric not stretch like it says on the website, I think what I want to make with it is um, a top. I want to try out this top, the view G of the Azania pattern, the one, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I belched. I want to try out the view G, the one with the um, sleeve and the collar and necktie because I think this has structure. It would be nice for the collar. I wouldn't have to interface it. It would be nice for that. So this would be for the top. But I'm going to have to add a zipper at the back. The pattern comes with a center back seam. So that won't be a problem to just easily add a zipper to that. So that I can get out and in of the dress get in and out of the of the top because it doesn't have any stretch like yeah <laughs> so let me just cut up a piece of this fabric i'm gonna cut it from the tip this um the scissors cut out just a piece of fabric and pin it make this one Okay, that's the view G of the pattern. Okay, so moving on to the next fabric I've brought enough on this one. I got that from Fabric Studio by Mint. Yeah, the next one is this lovely. I won't say it's lovely because I was really disappointed with it when it came, but yeah, I got this from Moses Fabric, the online store. They have a physical store that I always go to somewhere in Joburg here and the store is really big I love shopping there but I haven't shopped on the online store so I got this um, uh, um, I was expecting it to be a bit thicker like I said if it had videos I would know that it was not as thick as I thought it was gonna be or as thick as the picture showed it was going to be um, but I think it's not a bad fabric either it's really stretchy and it's, it's stretching it's more stretching on one direction than the other direction so I would say it's a two-way, one-way stretch, or two-way stretch. What is it? So I don't know, but it's stretchy in one direction only. Can you see? Um, it's really light, so it's gonna be good for summer. Uh, I love the color. I love purple. <laughs> I love any shade of purple, lavender, violet, lilac. I think this is more lilac than purple. Maybe the the light from the it's too much but it's it's lilac yeah I love it um, so it's really nice it's gonna be nice fabric for summer and what I plan to show with this is the sleeveless version of the Azania dress I probably put like a picture of it here because this paper is blurred out from all the lights so I plan on making the view F of the Azania dress which is like the sleeveless 
maxi dress which i think would be perfect for this fabric if you guys disagree with me on any fabric and the and the style i want to sew let me know in the description or in the comments or description what you guys think what i should use the fabric for instead and i'll think about it and probably amend my plans to sew um so i'm gonna cut out a piece of this from the tip like i did for the other one and stick it onto the paper so i know that this um it's the design i want to sew using the fabric okay so i have pinned that fabric there to make the sleeveless version of the azania dress so that's it next up oh i love this one so 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 nice <laughs> uh i got this one from a store called the light is going in and out i'm so sorry about that i got this one from a, fab a store called chamdor factory Chamber factory sales um i always also shop in their um physical store it's like big massive i love going in there but i love going there with a the list because it feels so overwhelming just a lot of options a lot of things but and they always have like good sales so um which i think they do a good job of also putting on their website because i saw this also was on the website and um i had seen it when i had gone to the store earlier it's a french terry it's a french terry knit fabric and i love the print on it it's a black and white and yellow what do you call this print Ugh, my brain i can't think about it right now what's what's this print called if you remember <laughs> please let me know in the comment section what the name of this print is called um i just it's not is it plaid is this, is this print plaid i think so <laughs> I think so so it's this black and white with a uh, hint of yellow plaid i love it it has a good stretch in one direction as well not in the other direction so this is really nice so when i'm sewing this i have to make sure that i remember to you know um cut so that the fabric is stretching around my body okay so this is really nice i got um, three meters of this and it was 30 rand really really affordable like it was on sale really affordable it was 30 rand per meter so i got three meters of of this fabric um from chamdor factory sales do check their website um i'm not disappointed with this at all like it's it's just lovely it's a french terry um i have not sewn the french terry as well so this will be my first time seeing the french terry but this is a really lovely fabric i love it <laughs> it's really nice did you guys think let me know also which is your favorite fabric from all this so this one's done let me cut out a tiny piece and see which one i want to make which dress do i want to make or top so i have a dress option and a top option left okay i think i want to go with a top so I'm going to go with the sleeved top without the neck collar. That's what I'm going to do for this one. I think it'd be really nice. Yeah. I can't even pick up my pins. So um, I have one more to go. So um, I'm sewing this, sewing the French Terry using... <laughs> I'm sewing this design using the French Terry and this sand stretch crepe that is not really stretchy with um, this design, okay? So one more fabric to go. Okay. This is my favorite. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which is your favorite fabric that I've gotten, that I got so far. <sighs> I love it. It is a velvet, like, woo, it's so nice. It just looks luxurious. It feels luxurious. It's just really, really nice. What do you guys think? I love it. So this I also got from Chamdor Factory Sales. And it was, um, yeah, so it's a stretch velo velvet dress i don't know what they put dress but i guess it's a dress fabric 
um and it was 44.96 and it was on sale for 44.96 the original price was 59.95 and i got three meters of this oh i love the color as well they had different colors blue red black but like i said i wanted to try more nude neutral colors this one is really a nice chocolatey brown maybe even reddish brown almost burnt orange um i love this fabric so so nice can you see how, how happy i am when it came um uh, in the box i really just you know i was really happy with it um i mean it was this is was really easy to get online because i really know what velvet feels like so i didn't really need a video for this but like i said be nice to have videos to have like a virtual experience of the fabric so i got three meters of this and it has a one-way stretch as well it is so so nice can you guys see that it's like plain at the back with the velvet this is how velvets come anyways i love i love 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 the drape it's really nice <laughs> what do you think <clears throat> this is a perfect dress a uh, perfect fabric for any holiday dress and i mean christmas is right around it's right around the corner it's gonna be halloween thanksgiving christmas new year guys the year runs really fast 2022 here we come <laughs> um so this fabric is what i'm gonna use to make this last design which is the maxi dress the slipped maxi dress with a little bit of the the total neck collar i probably won't be able to wear it this december this holiday because it's going to be hot <laughs> it's going to be summer so it'll probably be a fabric for the winter a dress for the winter but i would really i'm really looking forward to sewing with this fabric it is so 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 nice i love it it's really nice so that's what i will get that's what i'm going to be sewing with this this design from the azania pattern imagine one pattern so many designs i love that um you know get value for your money <laughs> so i'm gonna pin this velvet to this design so i know that this is what i want to make with it okay <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys these are all the fabrics that i got online from three different fabric stores uh the light is going in and out but yeah i got them from three different fabric stores from fabric studio from mosa's fabrics i don't know i think it's just called mosa's and from chamdo factory sales so i have a good time shopping online i'm not gonna say what i think again <laughs> i just did videos on the website um uh, but i'm really happy with the with the um with my buy with my, with my purchase and the plans that i have for them like i said i really don't like buying fabrics without having a plan um i hope to get through this this summer so um <laughs> that's it that's it for this video those are the fabrics i got online so if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed me talking through the different fabrics that i got and what i plan to do with them thank you for watching like this video share the video and um check out the links in the description for the stores that i got the fabrics from i also try to link the direct links to the fabric if they're still on the website um and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys